biggest Jew killer of all times was an ethnic Swiss by the name of SS Sturmbannführer Christian Wirth, nicknamed Christian the Terrible, who was the chief inspector of Operation Reinhard or Aktion Reinhard, named after SS Obergruppenführer General Reinhard Heydrich, the Nazi High Commissioner of Bohemia and Moravia in Eastern Europe and head of the Gestapo, the German secret state police with the octagon badge. So here is the Gestapo octagon badge of the Swiss Nazi Templars. You see it's octagonal. It's all, all police, secret services, military, it's all octagon, the military wing of the uh, the Swiss Nazi Templars, or Pharaoh actually. So here you can see him with his wife, um, Reinhard Heydrich, the one Operation Reinhard was called after. And Heydrich's wife, Lina Mathilde von Osten, was a member of the aristocracy. And as in all humanities wars, the aristocracy and Pharaoh's descendants have ordered all wars for the Horus Matrix, including World War II where the aristocracy was deeply involved to organize the manslaughter with the help of Swiss collaboration of the Octogon. So it says, Lina Mathilde Heydrich von Osten, the daughter of a minor German aristocrat, etc. etc. Um, together with the Swiss, they always have their fingers in it. So... See, they are a little castle here. Well, charming, isn't it? Operation Reinhard was financed by the Swiss with 1 million Swiss francs and took place from October 1941 to November 1943. And the operation was confirmed during the Wannsee Conference on January 20th, uh, 1942. So the Operation Reinhardt started a few months after the Barbarossa attack on Russia of June 22nd, 1941, which was financed by Switzerland with 1 billion Swiss francs. And so was, of course, then the Operation Reinhardt the uh, murder on all the uh, on all the Jews. So this is a Swiss border control here. Uh, it says, uh, Mr. Hitler, he guaranteed the Swiss neutrality of 1937. I put it through the uh, the Google Translator now, and this is on the on the German television, WDR. Westdeutsche Rundfunk. So this is not just anything, you know, this is official. <clears throat> you can read it all yourself. Uh, like here it says, so Hitler got in 1941 uh, 1 billion Swiss francs for the Russia, Russia campaign and the murder of all the Jews through the operation Reinhardt executed by the Swiss Christian the Terrible Christian Wert, an ethnic Swiss. <clears throat> I'll put it in the descriptions for you. So this is quite recent, 2012. Swiss are the ones behind World War II, together with the uh, with the aristocracy. Swissy Christian the Terrible was born in Oberbaldsheim in Baden-Württemberg, in the south of Germany, next to the Swiss border, near to Günzburg, where Dr. Mengele was from, and near to where Julius Streicher was from. And all these men were ethnic Swiss, as I've shown you in my other films. So here you can see it. 
um, if we click on this is where he's from Oba Balzheim and actually here it says his nickname was Christian the Terrible the Wild Christian Operation Reinhardt Ac uh, Action T4 and he was the first commandant of the Belzec extermination camp a uh, charming fella, this this Swissy. He looks a bit like the neighbor who just aggressed me. That was uh, yesterday. I just got aggressed by uh, some Swiss Nazi neighbor. Uh, I videotaped him. So here, Ober Baldheim. He was born uh, about four years before Mr. Hitler was born. He was born on 1889. So from the same uh, era. <clears throat> so here we see Oba Balzheim here, also in Wikipedia. <laughs> Excuse me. Here it says Balzheim or Oba Balzheim. And uh, here's Switzerland, here's the border. And this is all part of the Swiss buffer zone, which I'll explain to you uh, one more time in a minute. Yeah, Baden-Württemberg, these are the Alemannic people. They are basically Swiss, you know. And here was Günzburg, Dr. Mengele, here was Julius Streicher, uh, uh, Himmler, no, here was Mr. Himmler. They all came from the south of Germany. And if they came from the north, you know, that's the uh, Teutonic Knights link, who are also Swiss Germans, who uh, after the Templars uh, find um, uh, um Founded Switzerland, so just look my film, uh, the Teutonic Knights Deutsch Ritter on. In fact, every single high place Nazi was either Swiss, as the Reich's health minister, SS Obergruppenführer, Dr. Leonardo Conti, and the boss of Operation T4, Tiergarten 4, SS Standartenführer Karl Jäger, the head of the murderous Einsatzgruppen, born in Schaffhausen, Dr. Ernst Rüden, Hitler's mastermind, born in St. Gallen, um, and the boss, um, and also Christian Wert, his boss on the medical level, like Heinrich Himmler, the military boss of all the concentration camps as head of the SS and also an ethnic Swiss and also Hitler a Swiss sleeper agent was financed by the Swiss and the Swiss general Ulrich Wille etc etc I documented quite a few of these guys in this video here Auschwitz made in Switzerland on this channel Gure it says a Swiss, the Swiss in the service of the SS, and um, they were all Swiss. The Second World War, the Nazis, the genocide, also the genocide of Europe. You know, Europe is like gone afterwards. You know, uh, it was all a Swiss uh, operation. It's they organized, it, they financed it, they protected the Nazis after the war, etc. Just go and watch this video. Uh, you can see it on Google Maps. Here's Gunsborg, Mengele, Julius Streicher is also from around here. Uh, I showed it in another video. Um, uh, Switzerland financed the Shoah. And here's Baldheim, uh, the uh, Christian the Terrible. In Switzerland, it's, it's very, very near to Switzerland. which you can see here in the bigger picture um, so here was uh, yeah. so the, here's Zurich, here's Switzerland, here's Oberbaldheim, here's Gunzburg and this is all they are ethnic Swiss all around here they are practically Swiss, they are Swiss all the, these bad, evil Nazis, uh, the head of them, they were all Swiss, believe me. So all these high-ranked Nazi criminals, they were all Swiss, including Christian the Terrible. 
Here the biggest Jew killer of all times, with the lives of around 2 million men, women and children on his account. Um, and here it says, uh, Christian Wert, one assigned to Hartheim. And I'll show you what Hartheim is. So here's Hartheim, again a castle, so it's again the aristocracy. In all these euthanasia centers, as they call it here, of the Action T4, Tiergarten 4, um, they did a lot of these things in, uh, in ancient castles. And there was another one where uh, Christian Wert also uh, worked. And the head of it all was the Swiss uh, Health uh, Reichs Minister, Dr. Leonardo Conte, called the Swiss Sadist. So the Swiss Sadist, together with Christian the Terrible, there was the Infernal Swiss duo, and together with many, many other Swiss. So here, Christian the Terrible in Wikipedia, where they... Uh, you know, yeah, Baden-Württemberg, Oberbaldsheim, next to the, uh, yeah, next to the Swiss border. And uh, Aktion T4. Aktion Reinhardt. So in here there are some uh, SS men, uh, witnesses, you know, giving their testimonies. And this one is Franz. Sushomel. So here's his witness account. And he's saying in his testimony, SS Unterscharführer Franz Sushomel said about Wert From my activity in the camps of Treblinka and Sobibor, I remember that Wert, in brutality, meanness, and ruthlessness, could not be surpassed. Oh, that's typical Swiss, eh? We therefore called him Christian the Terrible, or Wild Christian, and the Ukrainian guardsmen called him Stuka, the, the, the German Nazi war bomber. The brutality of Wert was so great that I personally see it as a perversity. You know, even the Germans are shocked by this Swissy. I remember particularly uh, that on each occasion, Wert lashed Ukrainian guardsmen with the whip. If only someone had had the courage to kill Christian Wert, then Aktion Reinhardt would have collapsed. Berlin would not have found another man with such energy for evil and nastiness. Thus the witness account of an SS corporal named Franz Suchomel and filmed uh, by a French uh, team in the 70s and he was from the uh, he was an SS guard from the concentration death camp Sobibor and Treblinka where Swissy Wert came all the time it says he says uh, that Wert had built the death camp and uh, Wert he, he was uh, practi practically all over as the chief inspector of all the death camps and he was the first concentration camp commandant of the Belzec extermination camp. So here we can see that even the German SS were shocked and appalled by Wert's cruelty. Because only a Swiss and a Horus product of the Sisters of Isis can be so inhumane sadistic. It's completely schizophrenic that the children and the wives of those sadist SS camp commandants always say, Oh, my daddy was so sweet with us. This means that the wife at home and sister of Isis had total control over the beast because they have done something terrible with him as a child or baby to make him so and split his personality. The famous child psychologist Alice Miller said that Switzerland is one of the most dangerous places for a child. And she's right about that. 
Alice Miller describes the laws of silence in Switzerland, of which I've been telling you. So there it is, of that same book I just showed you. And she's also talking about Switzerland because she lived in Switzerland. She wasn't Swiss, she was Polish. And she got very well known in the US. So here she's talking about Switzerland. Yeah. And she's also talking about the camp commandant Nazi war criminals. And, um, but she didn't know that they were all Swiss and she was so near. Yeah. So I hope to add that to the... Uh, yeah. And there's really the, uh, the laws of silence in Switzerland here, you know, uh, on crimes against children, you know, to split their personality so the Sisters of Isis can use them. Yeah, it says all the atrocities going on here in Switzerland. And the Swiss, of course, would never write it, you know. And if, a, if there is a, a Swiss who would, who would write it, you know, you go to him into prison. Because these laws of silence are not to be broken. Well, and later on, she um, she went to uh, she went to France. It says she's talking about Adolf Hitler as well, you know. And uh, yeah, Switzerland. And here she's saying it again. Why did almost all the journals to whom these devastating reports were sent? Journals whose main concern is with society choose to respond with silence. Who is protecting whom and from what? She's asking these questions, right? Well, I've got the answer for you. Why shouldn't the Swiss public be informed that in its fair land countless children are being subjected to a lonely martyrdom? What's achieved by silence? So this, you know, etc, etc. So this lady who's supposed to give off answers as being a, uh, a child psychologist, she can't give these answers. Um, and this is very honest, actually. She, this is very honest of her. So I'm giving you the answers here and in my other videos. And this is also the reason for which the Swiss, they had children slaves until 1989. Die Kinder, or the uh, uh, contract kids. There are a couple of films about it. And they had um, uh, eugenics programs until 1996, just around the corner from where we are, where they sterilized uh, young people by force. It's almost in the 20, until the 21st century, and it's still going on today, all these things here. Because the Swiss, you know, and these children slaves, the Vadenkina, they were broken. They broke them. They raped them. They beat them to death. They starved them to death. Uh, they were beaten all the time. And um, so this is a way, you know, to split their personalities. Because the Swiss and the Sisters of Isis, they, all, they, all, they always have to have an amount of uh, split personalities uh, to make their Nazi war criminals um, have them ready. <laughs> They're still doing it, you know, today. And uh, so this honest woman, Alice Miller, a great, a very famous child psychologist living in Switzerland, she's asking all these questions here. And... Um, so I'm giving the answer now here, and she's also, you know, on the track of um, uh, analyzing uh, the, the young lives and the uh, uh, when they were still children of all these uh, schizophrenic camp commandants, uh, whose children and wives say, "Well, uh, my daddy was such a nice man," you know, that's completely schizophrenic, and this means in their youth, when they were a baby, the sisters of Isis they split their personality. And this is what they do actually with the MK Ultra, or the uh, the artichoke program of brainwashing. Somebody is tortured, you know, and like tied upon a um, uh, on a bench. Of course, it hurts a lot, and so you want to escape, you want to run, but you can't run because you're tied up like Jesus on a cross. So 
you escape in your mind, you know, and, and a whole new um, a personality is being opened. And so this is how they split these personalities. And the old personality, the original personality, is completely put aside. It pops up, you know, like with these uh, schizophrenic camp commandants or my Swiss policeman, the Hans Rudolf Kuni, another schizophrenic psychopath, you know, and a, a product of the Sisters of Isis, of whom I'm not allowed to talk, you know. They say, well, you go to prison if you talk about this guy. So these are the walls of silence. The laws of silence of Switzerland, of which also uh, Alice Miller is talking here about, and what you can all witness here in um, in the um, absolute Swiss terror on me and my family. This is the center of evil, folks. It really is. So, dear, very much respected Alice Miller, you were absolutely on the right track. And um, I just answered some of your questions and I do so here in my videos. And so maybe you've got some followers who, um, who can see this and um, we have to do something about this evil. We have to stop it. Yeah, one of the instruments to uh, split a child's mind is of course uh, Ritalin. Here it is which is very much abused in Switzerland and uh, well, I just told you the reason why so they can be productive um, obedient servants for the sisters of Isis in, uh, in the coming uh, uh, crimes against humanity believe me it's all Swiss led even Alice Miller had her doubts, you know, she was on the path, on the right track. I mean, how else can a witch kill a man who's naturally much stronger than she is? Well, either with poison to play the men or to play the men out against each other, or have her own personal schizophrenic little Nazi monster to perform at her will. Just as that violent Swiss cop Hans Rudolf Kuni, who was so sweet at home, but on the job, aggressing people like me and my family, lying things together, hitting people, and very similar to those Swiss Nazi camp commandants. And this is so typically Swiss, who can behave so innocent and neutral, only to behave like the worst possible predator at another time and place, the absolutely schizophrenic and split personalities. So, our Swiss Christian Wert, Christian the Terrible, was also a policeman. And the very thing Swissy loves to do. Now taken over, the US police gunning down black people at sight, with currently one million Swiss Americans on all key positions in the USA. And in fact the entire European police force of all occupied territories collaborated with the Nazis. <laughs> Apparently a police speciality. And they're all Swiss sleep agents, I tell you. This is Octogon. Watch this video. The entire international blue army against humanity is Swiss Nazi Templar Octogon with a lot of split personalities and schizophrenic psychopaths, you know, killing people and terrorizing people, etc. And when the Nazis come, they all collaborate with them. A bunch of incredible cowards. The Swiss Wert's first mass murder job was in Grafeneck Castle of the always involved aristocracy again and located in Gomading, very near to the Swiss border in ethnic Swiss territory where he gassed, where he gassed people for the T4 operation for his Swiss boss, the SS Reichsminister nicknamed the Swiss sadist Dr. Leonardo Conte. 
The name of the castle Grafenegg refers to the word Graf, a count, and Eck meaning a canton in Latin or place where the counts are to be found. Grafenegg. So here you can see it's a castle here. Again. Yeah. And um, here it says the, uh, the Dukes of. Uh, uh, it was in Gomading, and if we click on it, um, so they were the Dukes of. Here it says the Dukes of Württemberg, in Baden-Württemberg. You see, so if I click on Gomading, there, so it's all the way down in the south of Germany here, and here was Gunzburg and uh, all the other places I showed you. It, it's all. In Swiss country it is, and I saw this too at some. Uh, I showed it before at the Ernst Rudin uh, film. Uh, th this very same thing in in some um, uh, coat of arms of some Swiss uh, aristocrats in my film about Ernst Rudin, if I remember that well. So here's Switzerland. Huh? So this is all the Swiss buffer zone. I'll explain that to you. And it says again, the uh, even if you put Goma Ding in it, you know, in, in the uh, Wikipedia, it says immediately Gravenek Euthanasia Center. It's so famous, you know. <laughs> I've already explained in my other films like Auschwitz Made in Switzerland and several other videos what exactly is an ethnic Swiss. But I'll do a short re-explanation for the ones who have not seen the specific documentaries concerning the issue yet. So here is Switzerland and here's the entire big uh, Swiss empire, like this, uh, with the buffer zone uh, with it. This is Alemannic, this is Elsass, this is Baden-Württemberg, Bavaria, with Gunz Gunzburg here. Uh, with a big chunk of Bavaria is Alemannic for Alberg here is Alemannic and here in Italy uh, they are the richest part of, of Europe it, this, they are all Swiss living here um, the Swiss are an Alemannic tribe mixed with Pharaoh due to the aristocratic Prime Noctis the first right, and around Switzerland they have an Alemannic buffer zone for full protection of the motherland, also called the Alpenfestung. There is the Alemannic south of Germany called Baden-Württemberg and the adjacent parts of Bavaria, the northeast of France called Alsace, the west of Austria called Vorarlberg, and the north of Italy, which are in fact part of Switzerland inside Germany, France, Austria and Italy entirely surrounding Switzerland as a first ring of defense, which was, and still is, a very strong strategic principle, defending the base of all evil in the Alps, Octogon. So here you can see it all around, you know, and they want to create the big Swiss empire, which it, in fact, has already been all this time. Therefore, the regions in the buffer zone are by far the, the richest provinces in Germany, France, Austria and Italy at an almost Swiss level of accum accumulated wealth and a surplus of employment opportunities. How was the buffer zone constructed? Switzerland was founded by the Templars in 1291. See videos The Pharaoh Show and The Teutonic Knights, Deutsch Ritter on. And since that moment, the whole of Europe got ransacked by hundreds of thousands of, of the horrendous Swiss mercenaries as the, at the time, huge Pope Swiss guard burning good European women at the stakes and creating Lebensraum, or living space, for the Swiss buffer zone. Just like the Einsatzgruppen did in the Second World War creating living space, a buffer, uh, Lebensraum. So, 
you know, for those people who don't like the Jews and say, you know, well, I don't care what happened to them. Uh, here you can see, I mean, the Swiss has, have done the same thing to the Europeans. So maybe in this respect you care. And they did the same thing to the Germans and in France, all over. So maybe now you care because they, because they did it to us as well, you see. And they're going to do it again. Now they're going to do it against the Americans. And especially during the Thirty Year War from 1618 to 1648, hundreds of thousands of Swiss mercenaries crawled over Europe, just like the Einsatzgruppen of World War II, and literally emptying entire regions like 95% of the Alsatian population murdered, and replaced by Swissy, and about two-thirds of the entire German population, 20 million Germans and their children eradicated for the Swiss buffer zone, creating a nest for the future Nazi war criminals by the Horus Matrix of the Sisters of Isis, who all came out of Switzerland or the Swiss buffer zone like the Swiss Christian the Terrible, responsible for two million exterminated Jews and their children, just as Swizzy did before with the Europeans, exterminating them by the millions. So you can see the rest of the article of that German newspaper. This is what's going on now. This is very important to understand, very, very important. That these people actually who want to join Switzerland now that they are Swiss. Only last year, 2014, they even discussed the possibility of a huge Swiss empire, including all the ethnic Swiss. Well, why else? Why else, including the buffer zone around Switzerland, if they weren't Swiss like the rest of these thugs? Believe me, folks, it's not the Jews being the enemy within. It's only those of pharaonic aristocratic origin like Kissinger, Sarkozy, Larry Silverstein, who are in fact the false Jews described in the Bible. See my video, Pharistocracy. And it's those Swiss Nazi Templars, their octagon military wing, now having taken over the USA through Operation Paperclip, gunning down black people in the streets hoping for a black versus white escalation see my video swiss sleeper agents in usa and uh so i show you. this was in die zeit a german magazine last year about the great swiss empire being created right now So I put I, I ran this through the Google Translator. It's not it's a it's weird English. I myself am not a Jew, as Swiss disinfo agents are spreading their disinfo and lies about me. And I ain't so neither by blood nor by religion. And I would tell you so if I was. I just don't want you to miss out the real enemy of mankind which would be absolutely fatal at this stage under the current critical situation. I'm just a tiny South African historian with a Viking name, meaning a horse for Hras, my last name, still in use in today's Icelandic. Behold the wrath of the Viking ancestors, Swissy, you traitor of the European race.